Hey, what's going on, family? This is Brother Andrew, and today I want to talk about my experience using the base model M2 Mac Mini and some of the accessories and essential gear that I use with it. I purchased my M2 Mac Mini from Apple's website for $499. The original price is $599, but I took advantage of their education program where students and teachers receive $100 off the M2 Mac Mini. So let's talk about some of the essential gear that you're going to need in order to be able to use the M2 Mac Mini just to get started with the M2 Mac Mini. These include a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. Now, I personally didn't go purchase any of these essential items. I already had them laying around the house. So I used a monitor that I got from Walmart a while back. It's a 24-inch monitor, um, and it gets the job done for me. I was using it as a second screen on my MacBook Pro, but now I just use it strictly for my M2 Mac Mini. The other two items I use are uh, Apple's magic mouse and magic keyboard now the magic keyboard is a slim and sleek keyboard that provides a comfortable typing experience it has a low profile so you won't have to worry about your hands getting tired after hours of typing the magic mouse is a wireless mouse that has unique touch surfaces allowing you to perform various gestures such as swiping scrolling and zooming plus it looks great with the mac mini and they both have built-in rechargeable batteries. Now let's talk about external gear. The base model M2 Mac Mini only comes with 256 gigabytes of storage, which can be limiting. That's why I suggest getting external storage. I personally use a one terabyte SanDisk portable SSD. This portable SSD is fast, reliable, and small enough to fit into your pocket. You won't have to worry about running out of space, but wait, there's more. The M2 Mac Mini has a very limited number of ports, which can be frustrating if you have a lot of external devices to connect. That's why I suggest investing in a Type-C hub. These hubs are fairly inexpensive, and I'll leave some links down in the description box so you can find them. But the hub that I chose to go with is the Sabrent USB type C hub. This hub makes it easy to connect multiple devices to the Mac mini without any hassle. If you're someone who likes to capture high quality video or stream on platforms like Twitch, you need a good webcam. The Logitech HD 1080p webcam is an excellent choice for anyone who wants to look their best on camera. It has a wide angle lens, autofocus, and decent low light performance. Well, that's all for now, folks. The base model M2 Mac Mini may seem limited at first, but with the right gear, you can make the most of it. And if you feel like you got any value from this video, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Brother Andrew, ah.